Hi, I'm David and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the unboxing and setup of the Google Home Max. It's the largest Google smart speaker that they do. Um, it's very comparable to the Apple smart speaker as well in terms of sound quality. Well, this does go a little bit louder and does have a little bit more bass, so this hopefully should sound better than the Apple speaker. I haven't got one to compare it to, but we'll have a look at how this one works and how it sounds. Okay, let's have a look inside. It is quite a heavy speaker. It does have a nice large rubber foot so you're not going to damage your surfaces. We have a little packet which contains uh, some information to get to know your speakers, instruction manuals and everything live in there. And of course a power lead on the top. It shows us how we can play and pause there, volume down, volume up, microphones there and there, attach base here so we can take this off and move the base, oh, it's a magnetic base so if you want it standing upright you can have the speaker vertically or again move it down to the bottom and have it horizontal. At the back we have the power socket, a line socket and a some connection socket which I choose for diagnostics, a reset switch and microphone mute slider switch as well. I'll just plug this in and we can hear it start up. You should see the lights come up along the front just to indicate it's booting. There's a little power light on the back. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. We've already done that, so I'll change the camera position and show you the app set up on the phone. If you've already done Google Assistance or Chromecast or anything like that on your phone set up, it's the same process, carry on as you would do normally, just select the device, click add, you'll add it to your Wi-Fi network, and it's done. It's an incredibly quick and simple process. But I'll show you again here. Okay, we've opened up the app, and we're gonna click add, set up device, set up new device, we'll select our home, call it our nest. Select Google Home Max. Next. See it's registered. Yes, we heard the sound. Yes, I'm into that. Yeah, the improvement scheme. This is going to be in our living room. Next. We'll call it living room speaker too because I haven't unassigned the old living room speaker which we'll be taking out. We can change the names later. It's going to be on our network. And you can see it registering the change. These are all the agreements that you have to agree to. The microphone is muted. We agree to the voice recognition. Agree to personal results. And we confirm our address. Confirm what media we want to play from. And continue. Update finished, but it still says two minutes left. Hey Google. 
What time is it? It's 11.59. Okay, it's now saying it's ready, even though clearly it was working before it said that. Okay, it's asking about party setup. Let's see what this does. Ah, oh, so it's going through the standard setup again. So that's all okay and finished. Okay, Google. Play some music from Spotify. Playing some music on Spotify. Pause. You obviously can't play too much music because of the new European copyright rules. Any music being played or images will be breach of European copyright. So um, I'll load up a track from my phone that's copyright free and I'll provide a link to that song so we can hear the sound a bit more. And you find the living room speaker. Pause it using the play pause button. Volume down. Volume up. The port at the back um, is a USB 3 port. Um, I read the instructions whilst we were off camera. So that, I think that's an excellent speaker. It sounds really, really good. Again, you've got full in-app control over it as well. You can come to the settings, change its name, room location, um, device address. Uh, you can customize some of the abilities such as the treble uh, bass. You can have it control uh, which is default player device so you can say when you ask it to turn the TV on it will turn the living room TV on or the bedroom TV on whichever room it's in. Uh, this one I'd have as a default music player but you can say that I want a group of speakers to play when I play music. You can also opt in for uh, the preview program so you get latest updates which I've done. Uh, you have guest mode as well so other people can easily log into your speaker with Bluetooth or give it unique commands. Other than that, it's a Google Home Assistant smart speaker with absolute excellent sound quality. Um, I was just about to set the video up for doing the goodbye part, and as I picked up the speaker to relocate its direction, I found this. I went to take this off. By the way, the Google Home is upside down. It will work best if you turn it over. Because what I was doing is I was taking the magnet stick off from there, putting it to there, so I can put it that way. I assume we'll also have the same problem if we turn it upside down this way. By the way, the Google Home is upside down. It will work best if you turn it over. So, a smart speaker that even knows its orientation. I think that's a lovely speaker. It sounds great. It looks great. It is bigger. It is heavier than a lot of the other ones on the market. It is also more expensive but you can start using this as a stereo. If you are uh, in the market for getting a stereo system, um, obviously this is just a single speaker, so you're not gonna get left and right channels, but you can pair it with another speaker and then have the left and right stereo sound as well. So you can, with two of them, definitely get stereo out of it. It is then probably gonna be much more expensive than your standard entry-level stereo system. But if you tie it on space, and you only want one smart speaker, this is an excellent one to get. 
it looks great, it sounds great, and in the sales, if you can get it at a decent price, it'll be well, well worth it. Comparing it to the uh, Mini and the standard Google Home, there is no comparison. The sound quality of this is far superior. I'm gonna do a series where we can have them all three next to each other so you can hear the difference. I'm also gonna do one where I compare it to the LG Smart Speak because that would be quite a nice comparison. But this is still better than the LG Smart Speaker and that was a great speaker. So, and with this one being that it's directly from Google is you get all of the Google features. You'll be able to make um, phone calls from it directly, which will be free in certain areas. Um, in parts of America and the UK, we can make free phone calls to landlines or mobiles. It's just, it looks gorgeous. Hopefully it'll last a long time. It's got a decent build of flex on it. Well worth it. I'll give you a link to it in the description below. I'll also link to the music that I was demoing on it as well. Um, and thank you very much for allowing us to have some free, royalty free copyright music so you can make YouTube videos with some demo sounds on. I think that's very good of you. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.